everyone welcome to quadra shop today we're going to follow up with the month of january talking about different type of fittings that we use in the refinery world and the commercial also why we insulate and why we install sheet metal over the insulation we're going to go over it, uh, every details the fitting that i want to talk about today is a 90 degree elbow or a 45 degree elbow right the same thing the same 90 but in half 90 are typically used to change the direction of a fluid or a gas on a piping in the refinery or commercial industry. How common is this 90? This 90 is uh, 10 out of 10, very common in the field, right? You're always gonna insulate a 90, no matter what, you're always gonna see one, you're always gonna find one when you come to work with a 90. So this is will be one of your top cutouts to learn and how to cut out a 90 on the insulation and how to lay out a 90 on the metal. Let's talk about the insulation more details, right? There are different type of 90s. They got long radius 90 and they got short radius 90s. It all depends which 90 are you using. They are long radius 90s, which is mean the throw is long radius, right? And they are short radius 90, but they are also a long radius 90 that the depending on the thickness of insulation you put on it, depending on how many layer system you put on it, it's gonna become a short radius 90 by the time you pull three or four inches layer thickness of insulation uh, in, the, in the throw itself, right? So the more thickness you put here on the insulation on both sides, the throw becomes smaller and then it'll end up becoming a short radius 90. With that being said, depending what type of 90 you, you're using, you're gonna have to, you probably learn how to put Sorry about that. You'll probably learn how to put a, uh, a 90 in two pieces, which is the most common. A two piece 90 is a 90 that go in two pieces. It come half piece this way and a half piece this way. It's the most easiest 90 to put on the insulation part. Or you got miter 90s, right? Which are little gores of 90 on the insulation, right? That you put on the top and the bottom of the 90. There's a pattern to that on the insulation. You gotta learn how to do that on the insulation itself by grabbing the heel measurement from well from well to well, or the end of throw measurement from well to well, and dividing that equally in order to cut the 90 on the insulation. I have video online on my online courses where I show you how to do all those little details. When it comes to the other different type of cutout on a 90, you got the miter 90s, you got the stovepipe 90s. You have a 90 in three piece. You got a 90 that comes wrapped up on a, um, a power gel, can wood, this type of material we use on the insulation. So it also depends on the material you're using to install the 90, right? And how you're gonna typically install the 90 on the insulation. That's where you gotta get a, a pretty familiarized with all the material when it comes to a 90. Let's talk about the sheet metal. On the sheet metal itself, you have different layouts that you use for this. Like on the, like same thing for sheet metal. They got two pieces, um, cans, 90 cans that you can stuff for this, right? You got 90 gores on the sheet metal that you gotta learn how to fabricate and lay out for you to install and depending how many gores you're gonna put. And you also have same thing uh, depending what type of 90 it is, right? Long, short radius, you could either do a, a butterfly 90, you could do a stop pipe, a stop pipe 90 on a sheet metal, and you could do a three-part 90, right? It just depends, or you could do a 90s and, mi and miters, right? Or, or it just depends what type of 90 you need. That's where you gotta get f pretty familiarized because there's gonna be a situation where it's gonna be easy to work with a 90 and then it's gonna be a situation where it's gonna be very difficult to work around a 90. And when, fabricate, when fabricating a 90 on the sheet of metal, you gotta learn which side you're gonna close your, your lap or your gore and either it's gonna be a, a left side or right 90. So all these little details matter, right? So that's why you gotta get familiarized with everything when it comes to a 90. And that's what we teach in our online courses, which we have one for basic insulation course, and we have one for pattern layout course. And we go into much details on the math behind that, the fabricating part, the installation tips that we show. And there's a lot more information that become useful for anybody. So that being said, don't forget that this is one of the most common things in the field if you're looking to learn how to insulate in the insulation world.
Thank you for watching my video and see you guys next time.